Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to a new video of 5.4 Face Diagram where in this video, we will sketch the face diagram of H2O and CO2 and we're going to compare this face diagram and explain the anomalous behavior of H2O. On your notes, it will be on page 21. Okay, so for a face diagram, what you need is actually make sure you have your y-axis pressure and x-axis is temperature and then you have your line here where it uh, it is your uh, boundary lah between your three faces ni and don't forget to label solid liquid dengan vapor gas pun boleh juga and then label the triple point and critical point so yang B dengan A ni is not uh, necessary lah tapi ok so kenapa kita ada label yang A, B ni juga dekat sini because here before I'm going to explain more about carbon dioxide ni kita tengok TA TA ni uh, this line uh, from our triple point ni yang A ni kan so, it represent the variation of sublimation. So, kenapa sublimation? Sebab it's actually from yang solid to liquid. Ah, solid, sorry, solid to vapor. Okay, so contohnya TB. Okay, TB from our solid to liquid. Solid to liquid, dia akan jadi melting. So, sebab itulah variation of melting. Ataupun nama lain dia, kita akan panggil this one as melting curve. Okay, and then we have our TC here. Yang line from T until C ni, yang liquid to vapor kan. So, it's a boiling. So, yang ini is actually a curve. So, we call it as boiling curve. So, in terms of explanation, uh, Miss akan banyak explain in terms yang melting curve lah. Yang this part. So, I'm just gonna um, highlight it here. Okay. So, this one. Okay. So, what I'm gonna explain about the first phase diagram of carbon dioxide ni. So, first, the kata melting curve has uh, the slope to the right. Okay. So, kita tengok sebenarnya kalau point dari sini. It's actually a straight line kan dekat sini. Yang ni miss tambah lah. Okay. So, kita tengok. Is it um dia ada curve to, to the right ke to the left? Since it is curve to the right, kita akan cakap dia ada positive slope to the right. So, kita tulis dekat sini. Okay. So, what does it mean bila dia uh, positive slope to the right? It means that when kita punya pressure increase, Ha, kita punya melting point kita akan increase. Okay, melting point ni, okay, this is what we call as melting curve kan. Tapi kalau contohnya specific line dekat sini, that is what we call as dia punya melting point. We know that, for example, kalau dia dekat sini, dia adalah solid, liquid, in equilibrium kan. Ha, yang tu yang kita belajar tentang phase. Tapi specific point kalau kat sini, kita akan define dia sebagai kita punya melting point. So, what happens that, contohnya dekat sini, Okay, contohnya dekat sini Miss laju kan, contohnya Miss nak buat just bagi kamu nampak the melting point increase with pressure. Okay, so contohlah kalau Miss buat dekat sini kan, uh, dia punya pressure dia 10. So, dekat sini maybe dia punya apa ni, what do you call that? Dia punya uh, temperature maybe negative 35, maybe negative 30. Uh, so, contohnya pressure dekat sini jadi 20. Maybe dia punya uh, dia punya temperature dekat sini macam agak-agak je lah. Assumption saja. Maybe ni jadi negative zero. So, uh, from here we know that uh, as pressure increase, uh, kita punya melting point ni, uh, melting point kita pun akan increase juga. So, the melting point of CO2 increase with pressure. Okay, reason solid CO2 is more dense than liquid CO2. Okay. So, in terms of explanation, okay, kita mention dekat sini. So, when uh, as the pressure increase ataupun pressure becomes high, okay, the volume will get low. Okay, when the pressure increase, okay, remember, pressure becomes high, the volume gets low. So, bila kita tengok dekat sini, the kinetic uh, the kinetic molecular theory itself lah. So, kita tampak sebenarnya, okay, kalau kita ada pressure, uh, the volume is high ataupun the pressure is low, we have lots of spaces lah for the particles itself, for the molecules itself. Tapi contohnya, kalau dia punya volume it gets low, what will happen is that the IMF, apa ni? The attraction lah kita buat lah. Attraction between molecule tu what happens? Sebab dah dekat kan? So, the attraction between molecule tu akan increase. So, bila attraction between molecule tu akan increase. So, what happen is that dia akan lagi rapat kan? So, bila dia lagi rapat, sebenarnya uh, our liquid ni originally uh, this is actually liquid molecules ah. So, this is liquid molecule. Ni pun liquid molecule juga. Tapi, bila the IMF is strong uh, so, what will happen is that most of the solid ni akan lagi attracted to each other. So, dia akan jadi 
dia akan lagi lah, uh, lagi attracted to each other, dia akan hold in place. So, what would happen is that liquid ni will turn into solid. Sebab bila, apa ni? So, sekarang ni, when the volume is low, uh, the attraction between the molecule is strong, so dia lagi, lagi, lagi rapat and then lagi lah attraction tu is high, lagi lah dia nak hold in place, as in solid kita. So, what would happen? So, maknanya dekat sini, more solid is formed. More solid is formed. So, tapi sebenarnya, kalau boleh, kita nak solid ni change to liquid. Tapi, ada ya, banyak pula yang liquid liquid molecule ni change into solid. So, what would happen is that, kita perlukan banyaklah energy untuk melt-kan solid ni. So, more energy is needed to melt the solid CO2. Okay. So, ha, sebab itulah. Ya, yang for the case of carbon dioxide ni, ha, it's actually memang case untuk, uh, kalau kita pun syllabus memang CO2 dengan H2O je kita belajar. Tapi, most of the molecule memang ikut CO2 itself. Remember, sebab when the pressure becomes high, the volume will get low. So, banyak solid nak form. Sedangkan, we want to change the solid to to our liquid. Ha, so, sebab itulah, more energy is needed to melt. The melting point will increase. Okay, yang bawah ni is actually a fun fact only for you. Okay, so here it mentioned that the triple bond for carbon dioxide is negative 57 and 5.2 atm. So, betul tak? Okay, sini dia buat negative 5.11 eh. Okay, tapi the triple point ni is above atmospheric pressure. Sebab atmospheric pressure kita, yang pressure yang sekarang ni, uh, in real life ni, is actually 1 atm. So, sebenarnya kalau kita tengok dekat sini kan, 1 atm is actually... From solid, dia boleh turn to vapor sahaja. So, sebab itulah, at atmospheric pressure, carbon dioxide sebelah. So, sebab itulah, at 1 atm, regardless of what temperature pun, um, at what temperature, what would happen is that the solid tu akan change to vapor. Ha, memang ada itu sahaja. Dia tak akan adanya liquid. So, that's why lah kita ni CO2. Ha, memang CO2, familiar kita CO2 gas lah kan. Ha, and then, we have solid CO2 juga. Kita punya dry ice. Tapi liquid CO2, ha, itu kita tak familiar lah. Memang tidak ada pun pada 1 atm, ha, atmospheric pressure kita. Okay, so that's for carbon dioxide, phase terium carbon dioxide. So, jom kita tengok um, for the phase diagram of water pula. Okay, so dia ada exception. Again, what, we, what we're going to discuss is actually this one, TB. TB ni yang melting point kita. Okay, sebab dekat sini yang ada exception. Kita tengok dekat sini, ni sama sahaja bentuk dia. Yang ni pun sama. Tetapi this case, uh, this one is different. Our melting curve. So, tadi dekat sini, bila kita buat straight line kat sini, kita nampak dia ada positive slope to the right kan? Tapi sebenarnya, kalau untuk water, dia punya curve tu to the left. Okay. Tapi dia punya point ni masih lagi slope to the right. So, for water ni, melting curve has negative slope to the left. So, it's different lah. Ha, terbalik yang tadi. What would happen of water? Uh, what would happen for water ni? The melting point ni akan decrease with pressure. Nah, tadi, increase with pressure kan untuk CO2. Untuk kita punya uh, water ni, dia akan decrease with pressure. Okay, why? Sebab liquid H2O ni is more dense than kita tengok kat sini lah. Is more dense than our Solid H2O. Okay. So, kenapa? So, if you remember. Okay. Kita tengok balik pada formula density kita. Okay. Density is equal to mass over volume. Okay. So, for solid water. Okay. For water. ah, Water tu kita tahu liquid kan. For solid water ataupun ice ni. Okay. It will. Um, apa ni? Have tetrahedrally bonded. So, ada maximize. Dia akan maximizekan space. So, what happen is that, for solid water, volume is high. So, bila volume dia high, density dia is low. Density, low. Tapi untuk liquid water, dia ada wirang pula lah. Dia tak occupy banyak volume kan, tak occupy banyak space. So, volume dia is low. So, dia punya density is high. So, sebab tu lah, kita kata, uh, sorry kita kata, ice tu is more dense than water. Sebab so, kalau kamu minum, ice tu memang akan float lah. Uh, kira, kamu punya ice akan float uh, dekat air tu sendiri. Uh. Tak adalah ice tu dekat bottom kan. Because um, our ice is less dense than, um, ice ni is less dense. So, kat sini dia kata liquid H2O is more dense 
Ataupun solid ni is less than than our liquid H2O. Okay, so what happens that, remember that, okay, bila pressure, kita tengok dekat sini kan, because for the case of melting curve ni, kita akan tengok increasing pressure. So, when the pressure becomes high, the volume will be get, uh, will get low. So, bila volume will get low, uh, it, uh, apa ni, our molecule itself, dia, kalau volume low, uh, nak kena jadi solid. Uh, kalau volume low, most of the solid will change into liquid state. So, dalam kes ni, kita tak perlu supply energy pun untuk dia jadi liquid. Uh, the water itself ni, uh, dia sebab dia, um, sebab the volume is low, uh, dia sendiri akan bertukar jadi liquid. So, we do not need, um, there's no need to supply any energy. So, sebab itulah, uh, the melting point dia tu uh, decrease with pressure. Sebab dah bila dah pressure is low, dia sendiri yang akan tukar to this one. Itu sahaja uh, for the comparison. Okay, remember, kes ni uh, CO2 versus H2O. Kalau CO2, dia ada positive slope to the right. Yang ini negative slope to the right. Sebab dia negative slope kan, uh, it's actually about the density of our solid dengan liquid ni. Uh, senang nak nampak kalau CO2 ni, uh, draw lah yang macam ni. Kalau untuk water ni, uh, kita tengok in terms of the uh, arrangement. Uh, the arrangement of our solid and our liquid.